Good day and welcome to Connect, our daily meditation where we connect to God, each other and our own inner selves. Now we read in the Bible that it's good to meditate on the Word of God. So find a comfortable place and inhale slowly, breathe in peace, exhale, drive out anxiety, stress, fear and worries. Now our Bible reading. Remember those earlier days after you had received the light, when you endured in a great conflict full of suffering. Sometimes you were publicly exposed to insult and persecution. At other times you stood side by side with those who were so treated. You suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. So that was the Bible reading out of Hebrews 10 verse 32 to 35 in the New International Version. And the topic today is confidence. Now, do you have it? And if you do, who or what is your confidence in? I read about the brain surgeon Dr. Bronson Ray, who was going for a walk when he saw a boy on a scooter smash head first into a tree. Realizing that the boy was seriously injured, the doctor told the bystander to just call the ambulance. And as the doctor then proceeded to administer first aid, a little boy, not much older than the injured one, nudged through the crowd that had gathered. And he said to Dr. Ray, he said, I'd better take over now, sir. I'm a boy scout and I know first aid. <laughs> now this boy were certainly confident. And in our reading, the initial readers of this letter to the Hebrews had been willing to suffer insults, being persecuted and even lost their property. They were filled with confidence and hope, despite all of that. But now they were in danger of casting away that confidence that they once had. My friend, your confidence needs to be in God. And don't let it go all wobbly on you, okay? Do not throw away your confidence. Surround yourself with people who are confidence boosters, not confidence busters. You know, the great football coach, Vince Lombardi, said, he said once, he said, confidence is contagious, so is lack of confidence. My friend, confidence is incredibly important to living the Christian life. God created you in his image and that means that you are pretty smart, okay? Next, God sent his son to redeem you, which means that you are priceless and he gave you, as a believer, the ability to stand up to any test because Jesus has made his strength available through you. Okay? We also have confidence that God hears our prayers and answers our prayers in accordance with His will. Because we read in the book of John, 1 John 5, verse 13 to 15, we read, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, 
that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. My friend, this is exactly what the silver-haired man called Albert Einstein did, according to Kenneth Copeland. When he started coming up with his theories, the scientific community got so mad at Albert Einstein that they totally ostracized him. They couldn't understand how he was getting his information. After all, they'd been to the best schools. They were supposed to be the smartest people around. But somehow, Einstein was outsmarting them. And when they asked him how he came up with his theories, which of course turned out to be true, he told them that he would just sit for long periods of time with a piece of paper in his lap and a Bible, as people learned later, and he'd say, he'd talk to God and he'd say, God, let me come up there with you and look down on this universe so that you can show me how you made it. Now, although some people might think it's blasphemous, I believe that shows a lot of confidence, don't you? God always planned for us to see things through His eyes. My friends, so, whatever obstacles you are facing, whatever illness are wearing you down, whatever things in life try to push you under, don't ever, ever, ever say that you can't cope as a believer. Because the truth is that you can have the confidence that you can cope because God's strength is available to you as a believer 24-7. Amen? So don't look at circumstances and don't chuck your confidence away. The best is yet to come. God will lift you up, increase you and elevate you. This is not the end of your story. It may look like you're defeated, but it's not what it is in reality. God is faithful. Hold on to hope. The Lord will do what He said. He never ever fails to honor His word. Amen? So, please come and pray with me. Father God, you know my heart and you know, Father, that I love you. But Father, sometimes I lose my confidence and I get tripped up. I listen to the accuser of the brethren telling me that I am not good enough or that I can't handle some stuff. Father, sometimes I listen to people in the world instead of listening to you and have confidence in you and your word, which is the truth. So Father, help me to remember that confidence can only be found in pursuing you and that I can walk around confident knowing that I am loved, that I can walk around confident knowing that I am enough. I can live knowing that I have been redeemed, set free, am your child and called to do great things. So Father, please help me remember these things. I pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.